Let's talk about the sedimentary and metamorphic rock experiment that we're about to do so that you understand what we're going to do uh, in this smash test. We're going to be comparing the changes in our rock properties after it's cooked. So we're going to start off with two lots of the same type of rock and cook one of them and then compare the two and see how well they hold up under pressure. We're going to be comparing the hardness and the strength in the rock. So what I've essentially done is I've made two sedimentary rocks. I've taken pebbles and sand and sometimes sugar and salt and I've cemented them all together with plaster of Paris. And then I've cooked one of them to make a metamorphic version of what was there before. So you have a metamorphic and you have a sedimentary rock. That colour there is supposed to be the same as up there. I'm going to put them under two tests. First of all, I'm going to scratch them with different objects of known strength. And if you can't scratch it, then that means it's harder than what you're scratching it with. So if I scratch a rock with my fingernail and my fingernail breaks, well, the rock is harder than my fingernail, which has a strength of, if you can't see it there, 2.5. Okay, and if I scratch that rock with a penny, but and the penny um, doesn't leave any indent in it either, then that means the rock is harder than a penny, which has a strength of 3.5. But if I then scratch that rock with a knife, and the knife leaves a scratch in the rock, then that means the rock is not as hard as the knife, which has a strength of 5.5. So that means the strength of the rock is going to be somewhere in between 3.5 and 5.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. So that's how you measure the hardness of a rock. After we've measured the hardness, you've got to do that first. Make sure you do. Then we're going to smash them. We're going to literally drop them off a balcony and we're going to measure how far the pieces splatter. In other words, look at how well they hold up when under that impact force. We're going to measure the spread and we're going to put that into a chart and we're going to graph that and compare the, the strength and the hardness of the sedimentary rock to the metamorphic rock. And then we're going to talk about how this relates to the property changes we know that's going to happen when we cook something. We're going to look at and talk about how crystals will be a realigning, how bonds will be re, um, getting reformed and how that changes the strength of the rock. So that's the sedimentary and metamorphic rock experiment in a nutshell.